Hey, it's Kylie of Kylie M Interiors, online paint color consultant. Today we're going to talk about the one you've all been waiting for, Sherwin-Williams Gossamer Veil. So, Gossamer Veil is a warm grey paint color. So that means it's a grey with a little bit of beige in it. Now, there are warm greys that are more subtle than this. This has a little bit more beige in it. That doesn't make it a greyish, but it kind of puts it in between greyish and warm grey. And we'll talk about more of that when we compare it to other popular colours. Now, in terms of LRV, this has an LRV of 62, which as far as I'm concerned is the perfect LRV for almost any room. So if you have an average room, average light, or maybe it's a little bit darker, maybe it's a little bit brighter, 62 holds itself really well. Doesn't wash out too much, doesn't weigh down too much. Now, if you want to see the actual depth of it, we would look at white trim. So white trim shows us the contrast. You can really see the depth. So that's what 62 looks like compared to just a plain flat white. There's your contrast level. Now any color with grey in it, whether it's a cool grey, warm grey, greyish, can and will pick up cool undertones of either blue, purple or green. So this tends to favour a very slight, very mild green. Now that doesn't mean it won't grab blue or purple, it's a grey it can happen with any grey, but it is going to slightly favour a green. So if you like green undertones, winner winner chicken dinner. If you don't like green undertones, this is not the colour for you. Now a great way to pick a colour is via comparison, so I want to compare it to a few of the popular neutrals. Let's start with agreeable grey, super close to agreeable grey. Check that out. So agreeable grey is just a smidge darker, but not much to reckon with really. And Gossamer Veil just has a bit more softness because that wink of green in there and you can just barely see it. Agreeable Grey is a greyish that leans considerably into grey, which means it can pick up a grey-blue undertone, specifically in a north facing room. So to help cut back that a little bit, Gossamer Veil could be a good fix, but that's not to say it won't cast a little bit blue as well. It is a grey. Now let's look at, not that one. Grey Owl. Grey Owl is a super popular grey. It's a soft grey that has a blue-green undertone. Now compared to that, you can really see the warmth of Gossamer Veil. You can't necessarily see much of the green, but you can see how it is a softer, warmer grey. Now, Worldly Grey. So this is interesting. So this is a greyish that favours a very slightly green undertone. So they should be similar, right? But that's where you see the shift. So Gossamer Veil is that little bit lighter, a little bit brighter, and it's not quite as muddy because it doesn't have as much beige in it. And that's why it really does fall in between a warm grey and a greyish. So it's pretty cool to see that shift right there. And one more, this is my favourite comparison, Repose Grey, super popular grey. This is a warm grey. Now of the cool undertones it tends to favour a slight purple, but I have seen it go blue, I have seen it go green. So like any grey, it's unpredictable. Now if you compare those two, that's where you start to see that little wink of green coming through. Again, super passive. A lot of these are super passive. I just like to be anal so that you don't have any surprises when it goes up on your wall. But like any grey, you need to sample it large to see how it reacts in your space. So that is Sherwin-Williams Gossamer Veil. I hope you enjoyed it. If you want to find out more about colours, you can check out my other colour videos or visit me on my website at www.kyliaminteriors.ca. Thank you!